hurt me, I promise. You will be there your world the day. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kojo Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. <laughs> you thought I'd forgotten it. Go ahead and subscribe. Go, 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 go. Don't do that. Ah, go, go. Don't. Ah. Oh, I'll cry. Do, do it, do it. Yes. I know you have been coming to watch, but you have not subscribed. I'm not blaming you. I'm not saying you say you're a bad person. I'm not judging you. Just click on it. <laughs> Put us on post notification. Good. We will be there. Ah, my content back to back. Subscribe. Because I'm going to be here for a long time. Ah, the number is 400,000. That's the way we want to make a day. Don't do that. You better blast it. You better rant it. You blast it. You it. Now, this video is brought to you by Lemonade Finance. Now, Lemonade Finance is a mobile app for users in the UK, US, and Canada to send money to 10 African countries, including Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Benin, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda at zero fees. Zero fees. So you have to download the Lemonade Finance app. It's available on Google Play and Apple Store. What do you say? Now I send this guy. Don't forget to use the promo code DINGO. DINGO. And enjoy amazing discount. The link to download the app is in the description in the comment section. Don't forget. Maybe blast them around too. GF before the young day. Ghana Football Association. Let me remove my Orimo watch and put it here. Because after this right, then go fish sue me. Then go fish sue me. You know, Mr. Minute Mini wet. Minu we on my account no ba ma nu yi kwaje kwaje shade na nu kwaje shade na no GF for say 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 an if you dey talk something about them where you know talk am well where you go talk am where you go defame them ah oh the cement go come inside and oh just a Kobe be need your criticism so Anytime you criticize Kobe Benibia, you go find ways and means to make this thing about the law. What is the point of this? Are, are we the only one with an FBI criticizing? We go World Cup come. A lot of things have happened that contributed to us chopping last, like Bernard Boy in that group. What do we do as a football country, as an FA, as a sports ministry? We sit down with your jaw. We do analysis. We tackle the issues holistically. What is the issue? What happened? How can we improve on it? Is that not the way forward? I make a go see the GFA people have put a statement saying, hey, bro. So we now with the take when I want to pay the blasters, you, let's say the FA president. The FA is not self-funded. The FA will not be somebody in the fandom. It be taxpayers' money. If you are self-funded, you wouldn't have a problem. So, so long as the people of Ghana are using their taxes to pay you, they have every right, every moral right to criticize you. There is nothing you can do about it. The defaming part in here, I understand. If they are, uh, if they are, you know. Uh, um, um, statements or sentiments out there that defame the um, um, the FA as as a football as as a football body or personalities in the FA. I think they can take it to court. We are we, we rule of law for work, but you see, I feel like this is like a tool to you know deter people from criticizing the association. That is my opinion. And I feel like this is not going to happen. Ghanaians will still criticize the Black Stars or the FA or the Sports Ministry. It is bound to happen. It will happen. This is, we are not the only FA that get criticized. So don't try to weaponize this and use it to ward people off from criticizing you. That is not how a democratic dispensation operates. Whether you like me say, so long as it is our money that we are using to pay you, unless Kat, Kat say you won't use the old money to fund the black stars, that one we just go lay back. Say, young Kasa. Now, tax, share. You love you, see, can't hold that you can't. Oh, boss, Emfa. Article, let me read. 
The Ghana Football Association has tagged its lawyers to institute legal action against persons defaming the association and the Black Stars. The association, in a statement, said it is open to criticisms, but will not entertain deliberate misinformation and defamatory comment. The Ghana Football Association has noticed that a few persons are deliberately maligning and defaming the GFA and Black Stars brand in an attempt to manufacture a non-existent scandal about the team. While the association will continue to encourage feedback and opinions, devoid of insults, personal attacks, and brand devaluation, the protection of the brands uh, from deliberate lies, misinformation, and def defamatory comments must be kept. As the Black Stars remain a global brand, that unites all Ghanaians. The Ghana Football Association has therefore instructed its lawyers to institute legal actions. Persons who defame the association, its officials, products, and destroy the Black Stars brand, as well as media platforms uh, used to do the same. And so, yes. They say they are willing to accept criticisms, devoid of insults. I don't know, I'm a dream, I'm a saying, foe. The devoid of insults part, I don't think, nah, bro. You see, people do attach emotions to football in this country. You see, this is where the dynamics come to play. People attach emotions to football. People attach emotions to supporting the Black Stars. People invest emotionally into the Black Stars, not monetarily. Now, when they invest emotions into a brand like that, and let's say they go to the World Cup and they disappoint them, you can't gauge people that are, you know, reaction and like sentiment sometimes they take the anger the frustration and the vent sometimes to the point of it defaming the brand i don't support that i do not support that because honestly if you are trying to cook up a story about the black stars and it's not true and you keep you know perpetuating that um, assertion opinion sentiment trying to, you know, pollute the brand. I don't think that is that is right. So they do have every right to tell you, say, don't, listen, we, are, we, 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 we understand. The taxpayers, they use the money they pay us. Yes, you, are, you can criticize us, you can do this, you can do that. But at the end of the day, anything that will defame, devalue the brand, we are going to tell our lawyers to, you know, make a move. I do not see anything wrong with that. Because defamation, dear. Because let's say you will come out, come talk, say, Ket, Ket, the, I, once again, I am just throwing out an, um, a scenario. This is not factual. Let's say you will come accuse Ket of taking money from players before he allows them to play the Black Stars, right? Without no information, without no evidence to back your statement. If Kurt takes you on, he's right. He has every right to take you on because he can take you to a competent court of jurisdiction and ask you to provide evidence where you saw him take money from a player. Which is how the rule of law works. So do not get the things intertwined. But you see, the part where me and they try to talk, be saying that they shouldn't try to use this thing as a tool to intimidate to stifle people their opinion and voices. That is going to be a problem. Because once again, people invest emotions into the black stars. And once emotions are at play, bro, people say a lot of things. The black stars as a brand is a, bro, it will be public property. It's not a private entity. It is a public entity. So do allow people to share their opinions. As for the insult part, as I said, I can't control that, bro. Ghana Fanoya, as a merchant, for the past 12 years, he's been dragged. He, he, he faced people on social media, especially Twitter. He's been going through it emotionally, psychologically, a lot. But this, this self shouldn't be the main issue. For the blacks, uh, for the, the GFA, we have important things that we are supposed to tackle. I'm not saying that this is not important, but bro, what is the way forward? I've seen that they have announced that they are trying to develop juvenile football. So right now, um, the technical director of the FA they have in, in instituted some initiative that they are going to, you know, 
start from the grassroots and recruit footballers, you understand. These are things we want to see you trumpet on your platforms. What is the way forward? We have um, AFCON, right? What are we doing? The Black Stars of Ghana, what are we doing? The brand that you don't want people to devalue. What are you doing as an FA president not to devalue it? Because take it however you want to take it. At the end of the day, you somehow contributed to it being devalued at the World Cup. I'm not saying say you did, but then the fact that we chopped last in a group and you are the FA president, you contributed directly or indirectly to the devaluation of the Black Stars. You take responsibility and you own it. Bro, this is simple. This is not going to prevent people from criticizing the Black Stars. No. What I'm saying is, what is the way forward? What are we doing? Are we going to sit here and do blame game, blame hairdressers? Say they are the bad people? They are the one with the bad omi? No. Who is our next coach? Until these things are fixed. This is secondary to me. But I'm not saying say go out there and defame them. If you go and do a seal, you are on your own. Make up pre cry minibi. You understand me? Cap pre minibi. So you, you'll be on your own. Anyway, my name is Kuju Sheldon. You think I'm done? Eh? Subscribe. Oh, so, ah, subscribe, make you go. Don't do that. Mr. Kitao, you have to subscribe. Don't do that. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. Put us on post notification. Then I'm trying to help you so that when I post that thing, it will come straight to you. You understand? So do it. Ah, don't do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. Go to the comment section. Comment anything you want. Good. My name is Kuji Sheldon. Lemonade Finance. And I saw my snake. I'm Amade Kasiebo Ibrao. The head is big for a reason. Peace out.